Good morning everyone. It's day 18 and let's see what's behind today's block, shall we? Number 18 and it is, oh, a speech bubble. Uh -huh. Do you remember we, I told you yesterday about Zechariah and Elizabeth being chosen by God to, to have the next prophet? And I wonder if you can remember something I said right at the end of yesterday. I said that after the angel had left Zechariah, he ran home and told Elizabeth what had happened. But do you remember I said he wrote it down? Yeah, let's go back. But there's a reason why he wrote it down. You see, I told you yesterday that Zechariah just could not believe that the angel had the message from God for them. And because of that, God made Zechariah not able to speak at all until the baby was going to be born. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried to stay quiet for just a little time. Or maybe you've played a game in your family where you have to see if who can be the quietest for the longest. It's quite hard, isn't it? And Zechariah had to stay quiet for nine months. He couldn't speak. He still had his teeth still had his tongue, could still eat, could still do everything, but when he went to speak, nothing came out. So, and they didn't have paper and pen like that necessarily. They would have, it would have been very hard to write things down. They would have needed a tablet of clay or maybe writing it in the sand. Not an easy task. But for nine months, Zechariah kept very quiet. And because he was quiet, you know what you can do when you're quiet, don't you? You hear more. Because you're not busy talking, you hear more. I don't know if you've ever went, been for a walk, have you? And you've all kept quiet and you can hear the birds and you can hear the things around. Zechariah spent that nine months properly listening to God and he realised that God was his friend and was in charge. And it came the day when um, Elizabeth had the baby and everybody came round. And in those days, it was very expected to call the baby by the name of the family name or the father's name. And so all the people and the friends and villagers came round and said, oh, you're gonna call him Zechariah, are you? Oh, isn't he lovely? You know how people do with babies. And Elizabeth said, no, we're gonna call him John. Because she'd been listening to God too. And they said, but you can't call him John. Let's check with Zechariah. So they motioned to Zechariah and he was able to write down his name is John. And as soon as he did that, his voice came back and God knew that he had been listening and that John was going to be a very special person and his mum and dad were incredibly special too. And John had a huge part to play in God's plan for making a way and preparing the path for the next baby that was going to be born. And I think you probably know who we're going to be looking at in the last few days. And I'm looking forward to those days with you too. I know we finished school, we finished Noah's Ark, we're doing lots of last things today, but our Advent blocks haven't finished. We're going to go right up to Christmas Eve. So join me tomorrow. Not sure what time because it's Saturday, but I'll be here. I hope you will be too. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.